have any questions. Good evening and welcome to the service tonight. We trust that uh, you're under some good air conditioning there and uh, and going to be comfortable and be able to stay with us and enjoy some good music and some things of the Lord. This is our uh, first night of the week and so we're going to just be singing and talking about the things of the Lord and we're trusting Him for the encouragement that you need. in. Uh, We've enjoyed uh, reading the letters and the mail that comes in, and so today we've heard from different uh, different ones, and some of their encouragement was really, uh, the words were really encouraging, and I wanted to share something with you. And, uh, uh, okay, let's see, this lady, Thelma, says she watches every night, and uh, she enjoys most of the services, so um, that is good. And uh, here is one that says, um, I think I'll just read this to you and maybe leave out a few names. It says, I think you all are a great blessing to everyone that has uh, the chance to enjoy the program. I really enjoy it myself. I have told people how to receive the air of harvest and have gotten a few people to switch from direct to dish net network. Uh, they are very happy and I call for them and they have switched and I even call direct TV to tell them to start carrying the show again. They seem to give me the runaround, but still I called, and hopefully they will eventually come around and start being more cooperative. I guess the most pleased was my father-in-law, who was tickled to death to get the air of harvest back on. I want to thank everyone at WLJC for the wonderful blessing that I and many others receive from your program. May God bless each and every one of you, and that's from Kenneth L. I'm not sure even what city that's from, but anyway, it was good. And here was another one that was really good, just on a little piece of paper. And it says, uh, I love your gospel program. I pray along with you for all the requests. I am homebound and have been for months. I am here by myself and you never know what a blessing your evening service is to me. On Sunday, my TV is never off available. I am only 71 years old, but being so sick, it, still, it strikes all ages. But I thank uh, Jesus all the time that I have lived this long. Love you and, and thank Jesus that I am saved. And uh, that's from Ruby. And so I just wanted to share those with you because uh, it was encouragement, encouragement to me and uh, to know what's a uh, little feedback from out there and know when we get ready for these services of the evening, I always think about those that are like this, that we know that, you know, they look forward all day to see the music, to hear the music, and to join in with us on the service. And so that's what we want you to do. We have some prayer requests in, and so we're going to read our scripture and, and just get right on because we have a good group here with us tonight that you will enjoy. Here's a psalm that is very familiar with a lot of us. I hope we've all memorized it. If not, this is a good night to start. Uh, this is a praise for the Lord's mercies, and it's in Psalms 103, a psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, and who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. 
Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, and he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass as the flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his host, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 22 verses in Psalms 103, and they're everyone just so good. And I always enjoy that, and I, and I believe you have too, because this is the word, the Lord promising he, all the benefits of serving him. Uh, you know, when you always looking for benefits, well, this is a, this place we get more benefits is because he, he can forgive our sins. He's the only one that can. He heals our bodies and he gives us strength and uh, he satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth, that our youth is renewed like the eagles. He knows how to give us strength. He knows how to keep us happy. And um, so it, it is just so good and how that he is so merciful and his mercy will come right down to our children, our children's children. If they remember to obey his uh, words, then he is merciful to them. And I just, I love this Psalms 103. All right, well, let's, let's pray. We do have some prayer requests already in. Uh, we wanna pray for the family of uh, Marie Napier, uh, her husband, uh, Elmer Ray Napier, and the family, uh, Ms. Napier's visitation is tonight as she passed away and her visitation is tonight at the Sapling Fork Church in Clay County and the funeral will be at two o'clock on Wednesday. And so pray for that family. And also we have uh, this uh, word from Callaway Bishop uh, that he's uh, in the COP has COPD and is uh, now being treated by hospice. And so we need to pray for that family. You know, when one thing happens to one family, it affects everyone in the family. So that's why that everyone needs a prayer. Well, let's, let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because of this scripture we read. We can know that it is for real, that we can know that these things will happen and your mercy is never exhausted. We can never wear out your mercy. But Lord, tonight we need a fresh touch of of your mercy and Lord as we see and hear so much going on and how devastated that the world is people trying to take their lives and others trying to uh, do everything to keep living and so Father in Jesus name your mercy is what we ask for tonight we plead the blood of Jesus over every person that has joined us bless our singers and anoint them to sing and give us souls in Jesus name Amen all right, uh, we have tonight for uh, our singing guests, the True Believers from over at London, Kentucky. They do have tapes and CDs, so be sure and write down this number and call them. Uh, the phone number is 606-864-9120. And I believe this is the second or third time they've been here, and they're from three different Baptist churches, I guess, and probably friends with a lot more and so anyway, we'll, uh, we'll just uh, go over now and welcome the true believers. <laughs> 